Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's JPA here. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Rangers' final friendly against Coventry at the weekend. There, uh, also need to talk about this huge transfer news involving Alfredo Morelos as well. Uh, I'll just get into this video, but if you want to give me a wee like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'll just get straight into this video, guys. Cheers. So yeah, on Saturday tea time, Rangers played Coventry in their final friendly match of the pre-season. Uh, we managed to win 2-0, it was fairly comfortable, uh, I'll just talk about it briefly and then we'll go on to obviously the Alfredo Morelos thing as well. Uh, first half we won a really, we had a lot of possession but we didn't really penetrate them enough, we kind of looked, we were a little bit bereft of ideas at times. Uh, but things started, I think things started to change in the second half, it's like Gerard realised there was an issue and he pretty much fixed what the issue was. I'm not really 100% sure what he did, but we just kind of changed it up a little bit. Uh, and we started to play a little bit better. Uh, Joe Rebo got the first goal in the 50th minute. And uh, again, it's just another one who's just dancing through the players like they're not even there. Brilliant finish, opened his body up uh, and put it past the keeper who really didn't have a chance in hell of getting that. Uh, and the second goal came from a free kick on the right, Tav put it in and in a real good area. Uh, Goldson rises up, gets above his defender and managed to hit it beyond the keeper. The, again, the keeper didn't really have a chance of saving it. And after we got those two goals, we really settled into our rhythm and we started going at them. I'm afraid we also had a couple of chances, one in particular where he had it pretty much one on one with the keeper. Uh, there was a defender behind him, but he's hit it wide, and I don't quite know how he's hit it wide. He eventually came off, and his demeanour was really, really, uh, know what you want to see. I know strikers get that a little bit frustrated, especially if they've played a game, had a couple of chances, no scored, and they come off. They got a little bit upset, but he seemed really upset, and uh, in fact, i actually seen a still image of when Aribo scored, Obviously Aribo's jubilant, just scored a great goal and Alfredo Morelos, his face is tripping him in the background and I'm not really sure what that is. He seems to be getting jealous that other players are scoring and he's not quite at the races just now. Uh, and also we'll talk about a little bit more, more about Morelos in a minute but yeah, interesting game. We got another clean sheet, defended well uh, but Coventry were a bit stubborn, they, they didn't really come out much, they didn't really attack us very much, which is probably a good thing. Gets us uh, ready for these games that we're going to be playing in the SPFL, uh, where the teams are just going to sit back and try and soak up the pressure and maybe hit us on the, on the break. Uh, they did actually hit us on the break at one point and scored a goal in the first half, at the very end of the first half, and it was disallowed for offside. So we need to be wary of that, obviously. Uh, man of the match for me is probably Aribo again. I thought he was absolutely outstanding yet again. There was one bit of play, didn't quite work out actually, but he nutmegged a player, ran onto the ball, got it back, played a, a brilliant ball into Hadji, and Hadji's kind of first touch let him down, and the move kind of broke down. But it just showed you just what Aribo's all about. He's got pace, he's got power, and he's got really, really quick feet. Hadji again, thought I had another superb game. Brandon Barker was at it again. Uh, Connor Goldson seems to be absolute. Just he seems to be a different player now. Uh, these four friendlies that we've played, he's been absolute brilliant. He's been a, an absolute rock at the back, and he's obviously got himself a goal there, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, so that's pretty much my thoughts on the game. I'll not dwell on it too much. It seems like it's uh, a long, long time ago since we played that match. It was only two days ago, but for me, it feels like an age away and we're now on to the next topic which is obviously Alfredo Morelos. Now all of Sunday, uh, I don't know what time it was but say Sunday dinner time a story broke and it was on Twitter, it was on Facebook, it was on Sky Sports, BT Sport, all this kind of stuff saying that Morelos had agreed personal terms with Lille in France and it was just a case of the two, two clubs tying up this deal 
And so I thought it was a little bit strange. I thought, in my opinion, I don't know if the rules changed or it's a variation of rule or whatever. But I thought you had to agree a, a fee first with the clubs. The two clubs have to agree, and then you go and speak to the player. I thought that's how it worked. Uh, but this really isn't how it was uh, portrayed in the media. Uh, round about maybe six, seven o'clock. Uh, news came back that Rangers hadn't spoken to anyone and they didn't even know where the story had came from. So we're really not sure what is happening. Uh, we've heard today that Lille have put a bid in around about 13, 13 half million and be knocked back. It's expected they'll come back. Uh, Rangers have said that they're not letting them go for any less than 18.2 million. Uh, so hopefully the figure is round about that. Also the question is, do you want Morelos to leave? Is it time for him to leave? Uh, for me, I'd absolutely be devastated if he did go. But his demeanour in the last couple of games has changed a little bit. His attitude doesn't seem to be in it. His heart doesn't seem to be in it as much. He hasn't played as well as he has been. Uh, the disappointing thing for me would be if he lost him. You're not just losing a goal scorer. You're also losing someone who can run into the channels. Someone who can take defenders away create space for others, uh, he's big, strong, powerful, bullies defenders, so in my opinion, he's a target man and a goal scorer, uh, so you're kind of losing two players in one, uh, obviously the other side, the flip side of it is his uh, disciplinary record, it's not been that great, but I do believe that he has been picked on by certain referees and stuff, and in the media in general, he doesn't have a great reputation and his reputation seems to go before him. So things that maybe one player would get away with, Alfie doesn't seem to get away with that. Now I'm not saying that's everybody, it's all the referee's fault and it's all their fault. Alfie needs to calm down at times and you know that yourself. But I think he, he does get the raw end of the stick. He does get kicked a bit, certain awful as well. Uh, the one thing I will say is that I don't think he's going to get as many yellow cards at his next team. He didn't, he didn't come with a reputation like that from Finland. Hadley ever got booked and uh, red carded. And in his first season he wasn't really that kind of player either. But something seems to change and he started getting booked more regularly. So that's all I'll say on that. I generally think yeah, with the spotlight no, no on him as much at another team he might be a different, he might have a different temperament. That's all I'm saying. Uh, the downside to losing our face is goals, his personality. Um, it's obviously going to be a massive loss to the team. But the big thing is, if it's £18 million, pounds, if that's what they're suggesting, that can go back straight back into the team. We obviously need, I think we need two strikers in. I think we needed a striker anyway, whether Morelos leaves or not. I definitely think we did. Uh, obviously, the injury, injury to Dermain uh, might set us back. We might even have a scenario where we go into the first game against Aberdeen we've not got a striker. But being Alfie in this situation obviously we've been in that situation before where we've come up to an uh, Aberdeen Rangers game and because of Alf Alfred Morelos we didn't have a striker to play. Um, we need to get a, a couple of strikers in quickly. I didn't watch that name and names, this guy, that guy. One game, I, uh, one sorry name that I didn't want to hear mentioned is Shankland. I didn't think he's good enough. He may be good enough for a backup or whatever, but he's certainly not good enough to lead the line and replace Alfie's goal. So I really don't believe that he is good enough. Uh, this guy, Rufy, that's been talked about, seems decent enough, but I've never seen a lot of him. Uh, there's talk of that, is it Ryan, Ryan Brewster or something? from Liverpool possibly coming up. Don't know yet, that's all speculation. Uh, tell me you guys think down below who do, you, who do you want in if Alfie does go? Will that be a good thing for the club? Uh, uh, I've also got a, a little bit of a mixed view on it. On one hand I absolutely love Alfie. I love the Alfredo Morello songs that we sing each week at Ibrox. Uh, and I'd be real sorry to see him go but on the other hand we could bring someone in and he might be even better. He might be better than Morelos, you never know. So, tell me what you guys think down below. That's the video finished. Thank you very much for watching and as I say, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much.